Uh, my name is Christopher G. Moore. I'm the director of the film Disengage, which is playing here at the New York City Horror Film Festival. Well, uh, actually, the guy who wrote it, Eric Pruitt, he wrote my last film, uh, Foodie, which got into 15 film festivals last year and won eight awards. And uh, we were actually at a screening of that film, uh, at a local screening, and uh, he gave me a script. And he's like, I want you to read this. And I thought it was like, I wasn't sure if it was a short story or whatever. And so when I read it, I was really enthralled by it because it, it almost seemed like a Twilight Zone episode, you know, just the way it was set up. And at that time, I was looking into making my first feature, but I was like, crap, I'm going to have to go back to doing shorts again because I really like the idea of it almost being like a precursor to a zombie film. Initially, the script, um, it didn't have the flashback stuff that's in it now because I really wanted to learn more about the characters that are frozen. And I also um, made sure we added a character that the main character had an intimate relationship with because in that way you're in the shoes of this person who's dealing with this apocalyptic event and you can understand why she's taking care of her neighbors because there's a person that she cares about and she hopes that he will come back alive. We shot it in uh, North Carolina, uh, actually a place called Wake Forest, North Carolina. A good friend of mine, we were looking for a suburb location and uh, I went out to his house and it looked like something out of a Steven Spielberg film. I was like, I really want to shoot in this neighborhood. And he was really good friends with all his neighbors. They were all very nice. They allowed us to shoot over basically four weekends. We had three weekends of main photography and then we had one that was for pickup shots. Every film I'm trying to push myself as a filmmaker and I'm trying to work with different types of new things. Um, and I actually had a good friend who bought a, a drone copter, a quadcopter. And I really wanted some really cool shots. I wanted one cool shot of it coming behind the house because I really wanted it something that looked like a crane shot. And actually, the guy who composed the music, Rob Gokey, who's amazing, uh, when he first saw a cut of it, he's like, how did you get a crane shot in North Carolina <laughs> on this short film? I was like, it's not a crane shot. It's a really nice opening to the film. This neighborhood could be extremely expansive. You know, <laughs> She's not going to be able to take care of the whole city. And so she has to sort of make some limits to what she's doing. By that, we also sort of allowed that uh, for us to sort of have a little bit more fun with the makeup to where those people she's not taking care of are much more decomposed. We wanted something that sort of realized that she's only sort of working on this one small section of people that are basically her close neighbors. Elena Koch, um, she's been in my last uh, four films, actually. Originally, uh, Eric had written the part for a guy, but when he gave me the script, he's like, you know, you can make this, we can change this to a female character, and he even mentioned Alina because she, she had a small role in my last film, Foodie. She was uh, amazing to work with on this. It really brought the emotion when we needed it, and I'm really happy with the performance because I think because she's the main person that we're following, if she, if she doesn't do a good performance, the, the film's going to fall apart. And she, I think she hit it home in the film. Um, this film actually surprised me as a filmmaker because most of my stuff usually has a comedic edge to it. And with this one, it was much more serious. Once we got a cut of the movie that we added the music to it, when, the first time I watched it, I actually got emotional <laughs> watching something I made. And that, that really sort of made me realize as a filmmaker that, you know, I, there are certain things that I can do and, and I can do something more serious as well as more comedic. And I think that's one thing that, that I really wanted to sort of hit home with that is that she's trying to keep a happy face about everything. She's almost, yeah, she's very delusional in that. She thinks, you know, because there's still some semblance of life in these people, you know, maybe there's a way that they'll come back. And this, her boyfriend, who's in the midst of proposing to her, you know, maybe he will be able to fulfill that, that bargain. But sometimes you, <laughs> your, your wishful thinking doesn't turn out the way you like it. Uh, Mariah Johnson and Angela Pritchett. I'd worked with Angela Pritchett before for my film Foodie because we had a lot of like effects where chopping fingers and that kind of stuff we had to do. And she was affiliated with this um, a company called Bioduck Effects, which Mariah Johnson is over. And she's actually she actually worked on there's a Plan 9 from Outer Space remake called Plan 9 that she did the effects for. And I saw some of that stuff and I really wanted to work with her. And so uh, so she came on set and she did these really nice makeup. There's a couple of homages, different things. She did a really amazing job, although that one day we actually had like I think eight or nine people in makeup and it took us all day to get everybody in makeup. So by the time we were ready to shoot we were starting to run out of light. So the whole ending of the film actually changed up. I had to throw out a lot of storyboards in regards to the build up to that. 
which I think actually added a lot to the film because it made it the ending much more frenetic and, and, and crazy. Um, and, and we sort of, we added a couple of scenes to sort of make it obvious that she was wasting time inside the house. So that's the reason it got a little bit darker so soon. This film festival has always been on my bucket list of film festivals as a horror filmmaker. And uh, I've submitted here several times, didn't get in, and uh, I wasn't mad about that or anything because I know it's a popular festival and there's a lot of people who submit to it. So I was extremely happy when I got in. Um, the people here have been extremely amazing and nice and cordial. Uh, it's been one, probably one of the best experiences I've had as a filmmaker at a film festival because there's some festivals that really don't care about you. You're just a number. Um, and everybody's been so nice and inviting, and I, I've just had a blast. I've met some really wonderful people. I've met other filmmakers that I've had fun talking to and getting to learn a little bit about them. Um, but so far, it's, it's been amazing, and I've had a blast, and I'm so glad I was able to make it out here. Yeah!